What's going on guys? Day two of the cut program, the summer cut, uh, during my pre-workout here. Should you work out fasted? What's going on guys? Malik. Welcome Great. to the Coach Malik, Malik Show, uh, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm gonna give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. Obviously, should you work out on a fasted um, state? Should you work out fasted? Up to you. It's like literally like this is what I want to get on these videos. Is It's up to you. My answers to these questions are unconventional. But I think that it's going to help a lot of you guys out because it's like, oh, here's another perspective on it. Like, do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? Is I'm about to go into my workout fasted. The benefits of going into the workout fasted, I'll explain after the workout and the and the cons also. Um, but it's literally the quick answer is, is up to you. Do what you want, do what works for you. Maybe you do intermittent fasting and do your workouts uh, after your fasting for a period of time, then you don't like it after a while. Don't have your Bible or like what you set in stone come from internet headlines, all right? Let it come from experience, let it come from what works best for your body, and you're only gonna know that from experience and from trying it all out. So, should you do it? If you want to, does it work? Yes. Do some people hate it extremely because of the, uh, your stomach at some points get really hungry and your stomach starts to hurt for a little bit? That lasts for like five minutes. Some people can't stand that. So if you can't stand that, then no. But if you can, try it out and let me know how you like it in the comments down below. Let's go to the workout. I'll film some of it and then I'll explain the pros and the cons of intermittent fasting after the workout. Hope you enjoy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the voiceover part of this video or podcast if you're listening on there. So today is day two of the Summer Cut program and we are doing chest and triceps. I'm doing chest triceps this workout. And if you're following the videos, you know I've had some shoulder problems. Um, they've been getting a lot better. Felt going heavy here on the bench press uh, for the first exercise here. Um, this is the last set, I believe, of uh, 275. I believe I did it for about six, um, six or eight. And again, my shoulder's feeling all right when I hit this weight, but anytime I go above 315 or you know, 325, anywhere around there, my shoulder starts to bug out. My front shoulder starts to hurt. So what I've been doing, I know a lot of you guys are asking like what shoulder exercise I've been doing. And literally I've been just doing, I'll link it here if I can in the video, is a lot of rear delt, rear shoulder exercises. You know, band flies, um, rear delt flies on the machine, rear delt flies with the dumbbell. Um, you know, tease just body weight with you laying on a bench, you know, bringing your pinkies to the sky, um, just all that kind of work for the rear delt because of what I've realized that in our society, what we do in day to day, we have, we're very front shoulder, um, we use our front shoulders a lot, you know, we're writing, we're driving, we're typing, you know, we're texting, we're, you know, our rear delts very rarely get worked. So I've been working a lot on those. It's helped my shoulder. Try it out if you had to have any shoulder problems. Um, then I go to the incline press. Incline press I love. I haven't been doing this so often. I've been usually focusing on dumbbell incline, but incline bench press, you can go heavy. Um, I've been trying to go a little bit during this program heavier to activate a little bit more muscle and then at the end of my workout, kind of burning it out on the machines. Um, that's how I feel that my muscles react the best. I always say that you have to realize after, and this comes with experience, is you won't figure this out after your first workout, second workout. You'll figure this out after <clears throat> months, after training, figuring out how your body reacts on, you know, did your body react better to lighter weight, more reps? Does your body react better to heavier weight, less reps? You know, heavy-ish weight, uh, you know, medium reps? Where does your body react the best? And that only comes with experience. So I always say, in the beginning, try it all. Try it all in the beginning, and then you'll realize it. For me, you know, I've realized that lifting heavier weights activates my muscles better. So I start with the heavy weights, then I go to the machines here, then I go to chest fly machine, try to burn out my chest here. Now, quick tip on the chest fly machine. I'll do this a couple times. See how I bring my chest forward and right now my whole back's on it? So what I like to do on the chest fly is I don't like to put my whole back on the back rest. What I like to do is I put my shoulder blades on it, like you see right here, and I like to bring my chest out in front. 
The reason I like to do that is because I feel that when I do contract, when I do flex my chest and bring my hands together, when my shoulders begin in front, I feel like I can flex my pecs, especially my lower pecs. That's something I've been trying to work on is my lower pec. Um, so I feel like I can actually activate the lower pec better when I start with my shoulders, you know, on the on the bench, chest out in front, arcing that lower back just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Because as you see, when I do come in and bring my hands together, my back actually does go a little bit more on the pad. So just begin a little bit out, chest front. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully that made sense. Um, but that's what I do personally. I feel better contraction. Um, try it next time and let me know if you feel better contraction. Let me know in the comments or send me a message. Um, but that's pretty much it for this voiceover. Uh, hopefully you got something from it. Hopefully in your next chest and try workout. You know, you can test out different variations of reps, different variations of, you know, high weight, low weight, high reps, low reps, little rest, high rest, a lot of rest. You know, learn your body. That's my you know biggest message to you is learn your body through this process. It is a process. Um, and not only when you do learn your body, you're going to learn a lot about yourself, how far you're, you know, you can push yourself when you want to quit. Uh, and it's really going to transfer into other areas of life. So next workout, hear me in your head, hear coach Malik in your head saying, push for two more. I do have this hashtag on Instagram, do two more. And the whole emphasis is about, you know, when you want to quit, you know, when you want to, you know, put down the weight, when you want to stop, do two more reps, just do two more. Your mind always wants to quit. Uh, before your body can so your body can do, always do a little bit more it's always got a little bit more in the tank so push for that two more and uh, do the hashtag and tag me in one of your stories and I'll shout you out hopefully you guys enjoyed that voiceover uh, and I will talk to you guys next voiceover clip see ya alright guys workout complete day two is in the books and uh, hopefully you guys like that voiceover what I want to start doing is instead of filming my whole workout is film like some exercises maybe two maybe three and then go in more depth on uh, on those exercises so let me know what you guys think if you guys like the whole workouts or if you guys just like like the more detailed version of me explaining the workout and me explaining the exercises what I want to go over right now is the pros and cons of the fasted working out either fasted cardio doing weights fasted what are the pros and what are the cons of doing that? So if you're trying to lose weight, intermittent fasting is a big you know, marketed term that people use to wanna lose weight, especially if you wanna do it quickly. Uh, Cause you're not eating for a certain amount of time, so it gives your body uh, a lot of time to fast without food, which puts it into a fat burning zone. And then when you do eat, your body consumes the food that you're eating a lot quicker, a lot more efficient, and it puts it in the areas that you're needing it because you just fasted for you know, 16, 24, 72 hours, whatever fast you're doing. Now the pros of it, you know, when you're lifting, or at least when you're doing cardio, you know, you don't have a, a full stomach. You're not like super full. You're not kind of getting over that hump of like, you know, when you're running and you got something like you just ate a meal or something, it takes you a little bit to kind of get into it. You don't have that feeling. You feel pretty light. You feel pretty, you know, empty stomach, obviously. So that's not a problem. So usually for cardio, I like cardio fasted better because of that. I'm not running and I don't feel heavy when I'm running. Another pro is that if you're taking pre-workouts for any type of like supplements that you use, it'll be more concentrated you don't have anything in your system so if you take a pre-workout you'll probably get more energy only because there's nothing else it just goes straight to your system all right so that's another pro uh the cons are going to be if your body doesn't react to fasting well or especially the first couple days your body's gonna be very exhausted so because it's not used to burning calories of what you already have in store you're gonna be very tired because it's not used to burning those calories it's used to burning calories you eat or you consume right away so because of that, the first couple days are going to be very tiring. You're going to be very exhausted. So your workouts might not be the best. Might not be, you know, you're, you're not PRing. You're not hitting personal records. But wait for a couple days, and I swear that tiring, that exhausting feeling will go away. And then one more con about fasting, depending on how long you've fasted for, are strength, or for strength. So let's say you fasted for 24 hours or more, 24 hours or more. I guarantee your strength is not going to be optimal or is not going to be as well as it could be if you ate an hour, two hours right before that, for that weightlifting session, for that uh, weight that's about to be lifted. Like if you're trying to lose weight, if you're just trying to get results faster for summer or whatever it is, doing faster workouts are great. I love them. I've heard a lot of uh, you know positive feedback from people on Instagram, from people on social media who, who does it. And then also for my clients, I put some of my clients on intermittent fasting program and they're seeing results as well. So you gotta stick to it. Nothing works if you don't stick to it. Consistency is key. But intermittent fasting and then doing your workout after your fasted state does work. But I highly recommend, and this is almost like a prescription, not a recommendation, that you eat or have a meal prepared prepared 
right after that workout. So if you do cardio, if you do fasting, uh, a workout, especially after the weight training ones, make sure you have a meal prepared for right after it. For cardio, maybe an hour, two hours, but for weightlifting, make sure you have a meal prepared for 30 minutes, maximum an hour, or your body's gonna be burning a lot of muscle and it's gonna be, you're gonna be feeling a lot more sore because your body won't have the proper nutrients to recover. Brand new fives of this week. We just finished the workout and I wanted him to introduce himself. Tell them what made you want to start kind of working out and introduce yourself. My name is Jonathan. I'm originally from South Carolina. I've been here in San Francisco for almost four years. Um, my dad actually passed away um, three years ago unexpectedly and it kind of was a shock to me and I really wanted to make sure I got back in uh, good health and I really wasn't able to find a trainer and a program that really worked for me until um, I really you know, met Malik and I've been able to already see results in just the you know week or That's so we've been uh, training so I'm really looking forward to transformation and really making sure that I'm the healthiest I can be. What was the biggest thing that made you start? Because I'm sure a whole bunch of people watching this video know that they have to get in shape, know that they have to change something in their life everyone has to change something but what made you actually be like you know what today's the day i'm gonna reach out to him i'm gonna message him what was the thing that kind of like put you over the edge yeah i mean i really like uh your energy your positivity how you have goals and how you really stay with your clients to make sure that they're achieving their goals well guys you're gonna, you're gonna see a lot more of jonathan we again we're in our first week so we're gonna be keep updating you on progress this is gonna be new in the series, new on the channel, so I'm super excited to kind of bring it out. It's gonna be called Client Spotlight. Jonathan, great job today. Thanks. I'm excited for these guys to meet you. They don't know how much of a character you are yet, but they'll find <laughs> out soon. Uh, thanks guys for watching. And if you're trying to get, you know, get in shape, lose weight, change something in your life, start today. Start that action, start that, shoot a message to that coach that you've been looking up to, shoot a message to that mentor you've been looking up to, shoot a message to your friend to keep you accountable on what you need to do. But do something today, take action on something, take that first step into becoming a better you. Talk to you guys next clip. See ya. Perfect. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe for more fitness videos in the future. And if you have a question that you want me to answer, just let me know down in the comments. I'll read them all, say hi, let me know your question, and maybe I'll answer your question next video. Please don't let me in my zone. Uh, let me into my zone. Please don't let me in my zone. Let me let me into my zone. Please don't let me in my zone. Let me let me into my zone. Please don't let me in my zone. Please don't let me in my zone. Please don't let me in my zone. I just need